Bird. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use activated charcoal to make smoother tasting spirits. So let's go. Activated charcoal has grown in popularity in the past few years. It's used to treat poisoning or overdoses. A lot of people have started taking it as a health supplement because they believe it can treat diarrhea or lower cholesterol or a whole host of other ailments. But today we're going to talk about how activated charcoal can be used to make spirits taste smoother. So let's dive a bit more into what activated charcoal is. Activated charcoal, also called activated carbon, is charcoal that is processed so that it has small pores inside of it that increases its surface area for adsorption. That's right, I said adsorption with a D and not with a B. Adsorption is when molecules such as from a gas, liquid, or dissolved solid stick to something. In this case, our activated charcoal. Absorption, with a B, is when molecules get absorbed and enter into the material and it gets taken up inside. In other words, adsorption is when something sticks to the surface of a material and absorption is when something gets absorbed inside a material. Since activated carbon has a very fine particle size and pore structure, it has a huge surface area and huge adsorptive capacity. In order to make activated carbon, you take carbon rich material such as bamboo or coconut husks and expose it to extremely high temperatures of between 600 to 2000 degrees Celsius. It's also exposed to gas or activating agents that cause the charcoal to develop lots of internal spaces within itself. On average, one gram of activated charcoal has approximately a thousand square meters of surface area. So now we get to the good part. How does activated charcoal make distilled beverages taste smoother? Well, spirits have volatile oils and other flavor compounds and impurities in them. The flavor compounds are produced during the fermentation and distillation stages when we're producing our spirit. When interacting with activated charcoal, the larger molecules are removed through adsorption. Examples of compounds removed are sulfur compounds, such as DMTS, which stands for dimethyl trisulfide, which smells like rotten eggs. So that's a really good one to get rid of. It also removes fusel oils like isoamyl acetate, which smells like banana or pear. The downside of this process is that you may also be removing flavor compounds that are desirable in your distillate, such as esters, which are responsible for giving off fruity aromas to your spirit. Filtering through activated charcoal is a common step in the production of whiskeys and vodkas. In the United States, they have the Lincoln County process or charcoal mellowing process. In this process, the whiskey is filtered through or steeped in charcoal chips before going into the cast for aging. The process is named after the place, Lincoln County, Tennessee. By using activated charcoal, you can turn your spirit back into a blank canvas and then you can distill or add new flavors to it to make a gin or liqueur. So we can say that filtering our spirit through activated charcoal is a subtractive process, meaning that it takes flavors away and doesn't add any new flavors to it. So without further ado, let's get into how to make smoother spirits with activated charcoal. Here I have a jar of lab grade activated charcoal. You'll measure about 25 to 65 grams of activated charcoal per liter of spirit you plan to polish. Put it in a sieve in the sink and rinse it with water until the water runs clear. If you're planning to do another distillation on the spirit, then you can put the activated charcoal in a jar and fill the container up with your spirit. 
For this example, I'm using 50% white lightning vodka here. I'm going to close this jar up and leave it to sit for two to three days. Now I'm just demonstrating with a little bit of activated charcoal here, but you can definitely scale up the process for whatever you are using. For a smoother taste, it's best to soak the activated charcoal in the spirit for a few days, but if you're impatient, you can just filter the spirit through a funnel with the rinsed activated charcoal. So in my case, I'm going to get a second jar, put a clean funnel over it, put some coffee filter paper over it, and fill the coffee filter paper with the rinsed activated charcoal. Then I'll pour the jar of vodka through. I'll transfer the spirit between the jar several times, and we'll be filtering through the funnel every single time we do this so that the liquid has more contact time with the charcoal. After steeping the spirit in activated charcoal, you can redistill the spirit. Filtering through activated charcoal is also a common step post distillation to polish the final spirit. However, I wasn't able to do that successfully in my experiments today as the aquarium grade activated charcoal I used left a really bad taste in my mouth. I was actually very surprised by how bad it tasted. I know filtering through the activated charcoal is supposed to make the spirit more smooth and neutral tasting, so I'm not sure what went wrong for me today. Some charcoal. Oh, it tastes bad. Wow. I think I might have purchased the wrong type of activated charcoal for doing the post distillation filtration, but at any rate, I'll have to redistill this vodka oh. now. It's really horrible. <laughs> oh god, this is so horrible. I would say to use the activated charcoal either in the distillation by putting it in a basket and then running the still through it so the vapors travel through the activated charcoal or another method would just be after your distillation to steep your spirit in the activated charcoal and then afterwards you can strain the liquid into the still and do a second distillation. You can also filter the final spirit through activated charcoal several times post distillation to polish it up. You just have to make sure you have the right kind of activated charcoal for this. If you're interested in learning more about distilling, then please check out my Basics of Distillation in the Beverage Industry course, which is available now, and I'll put the link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed learning about how activated charcoal can be incorporated into the distillation process to create smoother tasting spirits. In the meantime, please support this channel by giving this video a thumbs up leaving a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button for more videos about drink making. This is Brew Bird, sending good vibes your way. I'll see you next time.